What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back, and it's time to head on over to our next zone, Hemwick Charnel Lake. So what's great about doing this, uh, well, I guess we're kind of early in the game still, um, but you can do this either area either now or later, but by doing it now, we're gonna gain access to runes, which are nice. Uh, they're kind of like just passive bonuses that we can put on our character. And in addition, uh, if we were to save this area for later, it actually becomes a good bit harder. So just kind of nice to get it knocked out of the way now. Uh, but so from the lantern, we're going to head on down, and there's a couple different, um, we'll just call them like hags, or angry old ladies. We're going to take them out first. Oh, wow. Okay, this one is very angry. Give me my thrust. That is the thrust that I wanted. Should be some twin shards and an eyeball that we can pick up. Swing out to the inside. There we go. Uh, and then after you, go up this way for a madman's knowledge. Now there's actually a shortcut over here. We're gonna unlock this a, a bit later. I'll see right over here. It's an elevator type shortcut. Just so you have an idea of where we're at. Uh, you can interact with this, but you don't actually get anything. Not every red lantern gives you something. There's a couple that we've covered so far. Um, but a lot of them are just... I don't want to say like they're, they're fake interactions, because there's interactions there. There's just no result or lore or anything along those lines. Uh, but head on up for now. We're going to swing to... Uh, let's see. Twin shards up ahead. First. All right. We'll swing on up here to take these two out. I remember that thrust being a lot quicker, but still works out well. Um, let's see, get the shiny, swing for two baddies, circle down for two more, we killed them. Okay, as you head up, we're gonna swing back and right. There's some loot tucked right here. I'm gonna kill the brick troll. up to take out Mr. Maltov. I guess Mrs. Maltov would be more appropriate. Alright, and not that way, something over there. Um, so let me see. When we head down, there should be an ambush on the left, and then we can head down for pebbles and crows by the shortcut. I need to take some time and just like read my notes as I go through. It'll probably make things a lot smoother. Got the crows. Now we don't actually have to go all the way down. One thing that's neat is if you're going to continue, you can just activate any one of those elevators and then jump right off. Um, we'll send it down so that that shortcut is now open without actually going down ourselves. Uh, so we're going to proceed along for a, a baddie and a bone marrow ash in the corner. Ooh, boy. This 
got me there. Pick that up. And then you want to be careful here, because you can easily die right here and get blasted off. So go on up and get his attention, and then we're going to move back over here. Basically, we don't, we just don't want to fight on the, the bridge here. Careful around them trolls. All right, now there's some more, but um, but the troll dead—that's the the biggest threat, in my opinion. Uh, she's not gonna come. Uh, we'll fight her inside in a second. Uh, I don't have my lantern, do I? Hunter's torch, so we can see a little bit better. Her. Two, and I thought there was a third. There it is. Alright, um, let's see. Ahead is a Maltov and a Brick Troll inside the building for the ambush. Dog up ahead. We're climbing the ladder, sprint forward for a Skitters. So up with the ladder, and then we got a skitters, and we get some eyeballs. There we go. Upgrade mats. Him. We get the eyeball. All right. Now we're gonna take the uh, back path real fast. I'll take the back path to kill the wheelchair gunner and get two loots that are up top before we return. There we go. That man's knowledge there. Got blood gemstone there, and some bullets off of him. I'll put this back on because we have a ambush coming up once we're outside here. Uh, but there's going to be a hammer lady that's on the left. Pretty quickly, right when we start progressing. Kind of see her. I was hoping that you would just walk right up on her. And then as we continue around, I have a couple different enemies. So be a little bit careful here because there is a brick troll. If you can manage to get them out of the way before the brick troll engages you, that's great. Worked out. We managed to get those two before the troll saw us. And be careful here, because remember where it does. Uh... There we go. Just to lure her. And now we'll take down the troll. Pick up the loots. Virtual and three ladies after the house. Look left for twin shards. It's up ahead. There's the twin shards. Nope. Ah. There we go. Words, let's see. 
Yeah, when you enter the doorway, prepare for an ambush on the right. This is why I should grab my notes. <laughs> Afterwards, take the back path down, then swing left fast to open the gate. Okay, so we're gonna take this down, nothing here. And then we're going to run and hit this. Alright, now this is back towards the very start of this area. So just to kind of show things. Let's see, here's the very first brick troll that we killed. So that's kind of where we came in down there. Uh, we've gotten this over. So in this area, um, let's see, we have some Maltovers, the two big guys. Uh, dogs, loots include cold dew, bone marrow ash, some cold blood, the lake room, and then uh, we head up towards the boss, some more stuff. So let's take our time and just kind of work our way through. Now these guys are very similar to the brick trolls in the sense that we want to kill them uh, via visceral attacks. Obviously they're a little bit harder. One at a time, boys. Son of a bitch. It's always those big boys, man. Out of all the, the enemies that um that are like ideal to fight via visceral, those are probably the hardest for me. I don't know why. I can I can do brick trolls all day, I can do regular enemies all day, but the big machete men, they always seem to get me. So we can just pretty much run straight through. Um you might have a couple enemies that'll aggro and chase, but for the most part you should be fine. There's a, a leash distance on most enemies, so we run all the way back or up here. Just giving it a second, and uh, we should lose aggro on pretty much everything that was chasing us. Oh, and he has our echoes too, so we gotta be gotta be very careful here. Oh, so they are very, very resistant to. Uh, Oh shit! I did not think they could fit through. <laughs> that was a... Whew. Not a good feeling watching them pop right through that doorway. I hadn't tried that before, but it's good to know that that worked. There we go. Two nice clean kills that time. Alright, so now let's work our way around, killing the other stuff that's out here. Um, there was a lady over here. I'm gonna write in my notes. Um, two, two, two. The Maltov ladies, the two big guys' dogs. We'll do bone marrow. Alright, let's head on over this way first. more dogs than I remember that I wrote about. Some cold blood. This is the lake rune. Come on. There we go. 
I always hate trying to grab that one because I feel like I'm going to slip right off. Uh, and then there should be a cold dew and a bone marrow ash that we have not picked up yet. There's the bone marrow ash. There should be a cold dew somewhere right over here. I'm not terribly worried about the cold dew. Let me see here. It's a cold dew, a bone marrow ash, more cold dew, and then the lake room. We got the cold dew. Well, we got the bone marrow ash over here, and then the, the second cold dew, and then the lake room. Hmm. Well, somewhere around here should be another one, but honestly, most of the cold dews in these area are worth like a thousand echoes, so it's not like it's a major, major loss not having access to it. Uh, work your way up top, though. And then go this way and try and get off a big hit. Ooh. And then there's three that should drop down. Also a chest right here we can get. down we are pretty much home free uh, so at this part if you want to go back now would be a great time to jump on back spend all of our echoes uh, we basically cleared this area out right up here is the boss and um well it's not it's not a I don't know, kind of a hard boss well not really it's it's an interesting boss we'll just say that because depending on you, know, you could either really really struggle here um, or you could just kind of blitz through it. So it's, I don't know, person to person basis. Uh, but to talk about this, the next boss is the Witch of Hemwick. The, the interesting thing here is this boss will spawn ads, but if you have no insight, that number that's below our blood echoes, the boss will not spawn ads. Now, the very first time that you fight the boss, you're going to get insight no matter what. Uh, but one thing that we can do here is we'll go in, we'll discover the boss, see our insight jump to 15. And now we're going to use one of these to reawaken. Now that thing right there that's walking around with the scythe, uh, those are the ads. And it starts off with just like one, but by the end of the boss fight, you might be having, you know, four or five of those guys running around, which can get pretty hectic. Uh, so instead, we're actually going to spend our insight, and then we're not going to have to worry about them at all. And we'll just walk around and kill the witch. And at the same time, this will allow us to level on up, so... Think of it like a, a two birds with one stone thing. So we're going to pop all of this as well. Get them levels. We're not going to kill everything on the way back. We're just going to go straight for the, the witch. Right. And we'll also upgrade our weapon while we're here. Ooh, two shards away from getting up to plus six. And let's check to see if any of these are better. Thrust attack up. No, I'm okay without that. Welcome. What is it? Very well. All right, we're gonna put that up and I'm gonna start working up my arcane. I want to get to 18 arcane for one particular Hello, arcane tool. Hunter. Um, now, while we're here, we're going to talk about messengers and then spending the insight. So the messengers, I meant to talk about these earlier and just kept forgetting. But if you go back here, uh, here's the stump messenger thing. And you give them different things, and then they will show up and, you know, have whatever. So they could have uh, hats on, they could have urns on their heads. Uh, here's the, the bloody one. They look like they're little weird corpses wrapped up in bandages. Uh, so no real effect, just aesthetics. Uh, now, as for our insight, while we spend echoes at that bath, over at this one, we can spend insight. Now, there are a couple things. Um, you can obviously get bug cocktails and fire paper from resident bells. Later on, you'll be able to get electric paper as well. 
Um, and you'll also be able to buy a couple sets that are really nice here. So in particular, the Ashen Hunter set is excellent for its frenzy resistance. So go ahead and pick that up. While you're here, you might as well pick up the uh, Gascon set. Um, some decent poison resist on this set. And then for the leftover we have, let's go with... Um, we'll buy a small resonant bell. We'll buy the sinister bell. And then we'll buy a fire paper. So the bells, um, if you're not planning on doing co-op with friends whatsoever, those bells are 100% useless. No reason to pick those up, just pick up three fire papers. Um, but by spending all of our insight, this fight will be a lot easier. And while on one hand we kind of want to save our insight up um, to, to get a blood rock late on in the game, at the same time, um, you know, you're not going to be extremely down spending some insight now. And, you know, you're going to want to pick up a couple hunter sets with insight anyway. So it kind of just makes sense to do it now. You know, pick up those sets, spend your insight. Now you don't have to worry about it and the boss fight will be easier as a result. So it's like a double win. Just running on ahead. It still bothers me that I did not see that cold blood. Let me let me give it like one, one speedy I might die loop here. Another thing here, later on we're gonna be going to Kanehurst. This is actually where we go to Kanehurst. This pillar right here. We walk up to it, and a uh, big thing will take us to Kanehurst from that pillar. So we're gonna be getting back there from, from this. We obviously get a long turn after we kill the boss here. Kinda of wanted to throw that out there that we'll be returning to this area a bit later. Out of my way, ladies. Alright, so now that we have no insight, and the way it works is when you walk into a boss fight, you get insight like upon discovering the boss. Uh, but the way the witch works is the witch is going to teleport around, and if you get too close, it'll attack you. Uh, now, there are two witches, and unless you kill them close to the same time, they can resummon. Uh, because we have already put the fight down and gotten rid of all of the, uh, gotten rid of the, uh, our insight, we don't need to worry about adds at all. So this fight will literally just be us dunking on the witches. Um, there we go. And if you look carefully, you can usually see where the witch is going to teleport to. We go. Solar teleport up top. Alright. So she teleported somewhere on the other side. Now, if you lose sight of her, all you're going to do is just pretty much take a loop around the room. That's it. You just take one loop around the room looking for the witch. And you should be able to find her pretty easily. So, alright, that came from witch number two. What she'll do is she'll hit you with these things, and then uh, after she hits you with them, she wants to basically like hold you in place, and she'll try and um, she'll try and scoop out your eyeball. She <laughs> it's like like it's an ice cream scoop. This just seems really easy, just keep in mind there's typically a, a bunch of enemies that are also chasing you. So the other witch got up. That's fine. We're gonna kill both of these witches close to the same time. Stop that. I think that one's almost dead, but not quite dead. mid-grab or mid-jump. Alright, I'm a 
at that, the witches are down. I'm pop this. And run on down here and pop this open, and we'll get the thing we need for runes. So now with the rune workshop accessible, I'm going to show y'all how to do that real fast. And we'll wrap on up. So basically the way it works is we have three slots and then we have a, uh, a memory rune. Uh, these serve as kind of like covenants. So there's a couple different ones uh, that we can get. I'll be going through how to get all those in the game. And then these you can find as you play. And there's a bunch of different things. Uh, some of them are going to give you extra beast hood. This one's physical damage reduction. Uh, for now, I would just put on these three, Communion, Odin, and Lake. Um, but there's all kinds of runes. In particular, there's ones that, that my personal favorites are you get um, health and bullets every time you do a visceral attack. I find that to be really useful for progression. Just helps keep your, your health bar and your bullets both full. Uh, but there's runes that are going to boost your health pool, runes that'll boost your stamina. A bunch of different runes that we're going to be getting as we play through the game. So just keep your eyes out for those and, you know, basically just check back here every now and again as we get runes. Because uh, it's stuff that you're going to want to have access to. I think we already have it. Uh, grab the rune tool and put on runes. Uh, yes, we need to do... Yeah, we'll do that in the next episode. Um, so for the next part, we are going to... Uh, we're going to jump on over. I guess we could spell. We'll spend our, our stuff Welcome now and then home, we'll jump. Good hunter. What is... Very well, Ned. We go in our cane. Well. We are going to the Cathedral Warden. And from here, there's a couple of different things we're going to do. We're going to continue on with Eileen's quest chain. So that'll be the first thing. And then we're going to work our way uh, through this area in full and make our way up to the next boss, Vicar Amelia. Or Vicar Amelia, or however the hell you're supposed to pronounce her name. Either way, wrapping up at the Cathedral Ward, and I will catch you all next time as we continue on.